Hello again, my friends, and yes, another 1 to 144 skill from Dragon, and with this tiny little modern kit set that comes with two leopard leopards, a 2A4 and a 2A5, and has excellent detail for such a small scale with a ton of decals for an options, a photo etch, and yes, this time it did actually come with the photo etch instructions as also the painting and hand marking guide is very helpful for when painting on the colors but later on i will take on my own take of just coming up with a color scheme that have inspired me from other modern vehicles Finally, with the two models finished, I can now begin priming the models with this AK Bike Primer, which I used on the Karl Gadot Mosso Cannon. And this primer is excellent for just brush painting on models with uh, just a regular old synthetic brush, uh, but make sure you shake the bottle very well. I actually mixed together flat green and mahogany brown for the main base coat color for the Leopard 2A4, but here you actually see me using Iraqi sand and flat green both being mixed together, as this color does actually exist on some modern vehicles. Now we can begin brush painting on the camo patterns on the tank. I then use dark rust as my adjustable acrylic wash to help accentuate the deeper crevices of the details as this is also a very nice dark brown effect.
now begin to dry brush on sky gray to help bring out the small little details. I next fiddle around with the tiny little decals which are incredibly detailed for such a small scale. Using the same technique as I did before, I dry brush on Iraqi sand to give it a nice, dusty, worn look on the lower parts of the hull. For the Leopard 2A6, I already painted on olive green, <laughs> sorry it's a bit hard to see there, and mix it with light grayish green from this US modern paint set, as also from reference from this tank book on that early NATO color looking uh, German tank, since they're the ones, as far as I know, to come up with this camo scheme. I use satin varnish to help give it a nice sheen as it will be very nice in contrast to the very matte black brown color that you see me using here as it will do a very nice job of reaching those deep crevices on the model. I mix together flat green, sky gray, and flat yellow to help give me a nice vibrant light grayish color so that it'll help bring out the details on the model. As the video comes to an end, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you've managed to make it this far, and if you've enjoyed the video, please let me know of what you think about these tiny little kits. And I'll hopefully see you all next time.